We were 5-5 five and five last year. Doesn't matter. Get better. Right? You may have been an all-conference player last year. Doesn't matter. Get better. You may have been a second-team guy. Doesn't matter. Get better. You're coming in as a freshman. Doesn't matter. Get better. We want to get to where we're going. Right? What th- things that have happened in the past doesn't matter. Get better. As soon as we get away from getting better, right? That's where they, that's where things drop off. Okay? Guys, get better. serving 436 kids in all five elementary schools uh, with food on the weekend. And so um, this has been going on, I think this is our eighth year, and we've grown and grown and grown. Prior to their week one matchup, the Prairie Fire football program teamed up with the women's soccer team to take part in packing bags for blessings in a backpack. The student-run initiative that meets on Tuesday nights is a big part of the football team. Throughout Damon Tomeo's tenure, his players have combined to complete over 900 hours of community service, several of those being with this program. In fact, for this year's community service project, the Prairie Fire will team up with Blessings in a Backpack to collect a goal of 10,000 canned food donations at the Monmouth game to help feed more families throughout the community. But what it does is it help, really helps families who don't have food to have something and it gives our kids something to look forward to and some of them don't always have stuff on the weekends to look forward to. The hard work they have put in off the field in making a difference in the Galesburg community is the same hard work they've been putting in during practice to prepare for the annual Lincoln Bowl. Contributing to that preparation is two coaches that know a lot about preparing for a big game in a Knox College uniform. Both Dave McKillop and Bill Allison were letter winners for the Prairie Fire during the early 70s and are now both assistant coaches for this year's Knox squad. Our D-line coach is Dave McKillop, former retired Army. Uh, does a wonderful job with our defensive line and keeping them motivated in only Dave McKillop style and a great addition to our program being an elder statesman. I suspect I'm a little bit intense. you got to show me you can do it out here. Let's go. And uh, I'm a little bit old school. Half boot up your ass. Let's go. Every time I spin out of a gap, he always gets mad at me. But I know he's doing it just to try to make me a better player. He's the type of coach that basically yells at you because he cares. Because if, as soon as he stops yelling at you, then you know he doesn't care. He uses the yelling as a teaching point, and he expresses himself that way. I believe in uh, mental toughness, and I believe in physical toughness. And that means get after it, go play ball, and uh, know your assignment and get it done. And through that, he hopes that the lessons he teaches go far beyond football. Uh, hopefully, you know, I can give some of the guys here uh, some lessons for life that they can carry on and use in the future. On the offensive side of the football, Coach Bill Allison is also a longtime coach for the Prairie Fire. The 2018 campaign will be his 22nd season roaming the Knox College sidelines. He came to Knox after serving as an educator in the Galesburg community for several years. And our running backs coach is Bill Allison. Bill was the head coach at the high school there for an extended period of time and now is retired to his calling of college coaching and has been with us for quite some time. And Bill is a great addition to our offensive staff at running back. But I found that you really don't have to coach effort as much here. And you can just deal with the game itself. And the kids are older. You can respond to them differently than you can, say, a freshman in high school. And, uh, and I'm, not, I'm not a yell in your face kind of guy. Um, I just enjoy being around the guys. Don't catch the guy. You attack when you decide. Ready? Go. Throw a punch. Throw a punch. There you go. There you go. Good. One more each way. He's just a funny guy in general. Um, pretty much every day, I'll just be walking out there, you know. Um, people say that I'm, I'm kind of like down, mopey, like I, I don't show much expression. So Coach Allison pretty much every day has hit me with a one-liner. One of the things that in the yearbook, they posted a picture on Facebook, and it said something about one-liners even in high school. So I guess it's something I've always done. Something about king of the one-liners or something like that, so. Last week, I was asking him about reps, and I go, so do I get two today? And he goes, 
Uh, we'll see maybe if you don't annoy, annoy me today and I just, you know, it just keeps it light, hits you with some one-liners here and there and it just keeps the mood really, really good for practice. His fairly laid-back coaching style can largely be attributed to his experiences both as an athlete and coach during his time at Knox. He really sees it as like a home and that's what he makes it, so he's here day and night for us and for everyone on the team, not just the running backs and he wants to share his experiences and his time and what he's learned through the years being here and other places with us and that's really what's important. And just seeing what some of these guys have done after, after graduating, where one of my running backs became a full professor at a school in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, the things that they're doing and seeing their families and, and those kind of things to see them grow up and be great, great people. I, I really like that part of it. The team now prepped and ready to go. It was time for Saturday. You know, we're just playing so confident. We're playing so fast, so physical. So um, I just expect to win on uh, Saturday. It's the 2018 Lincoln Bowl and the opening kickoff by Jesus Flores goes for a touchback. Second drive of the game for Eureka on fourth down. Mario Whitley comes off the edge and blocks the punt, putting the Prairie Fire in field goal range. And it sets up this 30-yard chip shot from Flores. Knox is up 3-0 early. But the Eureka offense would catch fire and score 35 unanswered. But as time expired in the first half, Jacob Morrow finds Hunter Lee in the corner of the end zone to cut the deficit to 25 as we headed to the break. The scoring was back and forth in the second half. Amaro drops back again and finds Patrick Marzolino over the middle for his second touchdown toss of the game, but that wasn't enough as the Prairie Fire fall to the Red Devils in the opener, 49-24. After the loss, the Fire turned their attention to their Week 2 matchup with Beloit. This past weekend, the Buccaneers fell 36-10 on the road to Concordia, Chicago. Last year, Knox beat Beloit for the first time since 2013 and will look to do so again on Saturday. Kickoff is set for 1 p.m. at Strong Stadium. Next week on Hard Knocks, we have game highlights from the Week 2 matchup with Beloit Plus features on the Knox Offensive Masterminds, Corey Bonstead and Wes Graham. We will see you next week on Hard Knocks.